All right, we're back. God damn, I'm looking shaggy. <laughs> All right, got Lal uh, Lindura Coffee Stout. I've showed this one before from uh, Untitled Art with uh, some JBC coffee roasters. I've showed it before. It's a good one. I think it's a uh, milk stout, imperial stout with coffee and milk sugar. Yep, good stuff. So it is hashtag Burn Boy Squad Week. I'm going with Viking Soaps. This is their long ship. This is their take on Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. Um, I don't think it's exact, but inspired by. Now, Vetiver, I don't think is necessarily a fougere, but um, Grey Vetiver is actually a pretty light. Um, more fresh vetiver rather than earthy and whatnot. And uh, I do think it's, um, you know, cousins to a fougere. Anyhow, smells great. It's a nice, affordable, vegan soap, Viking soaps. Definitely check them out. They definitely have some good stuff going on. So I got to load it up into the Lancaster Bowl right there. Have a great shave, like it says on the band. That's what we're going to try to do. Got the matching aftershave, and I do believe this is a menthol aftershave. Yep, alcohol, water, witch hazel, glycerin, menthol fragrance. Pretty basic, but not bad. We got our first Wolf Whiskers custom here. This one has the uh, the black and silver um, marbling going on. Very good stuff, kind of hard to capture. And then it has the Black Wolf synthetic on top. Black and silver, Raider Nation, baby. I don't give a fuck. All right. And then we got the Rex Ambassador right here. You can see it has some fuzz from the towel. This snarling is so sharp, it's kind of hard to clean unless you're using, like, a fucking toothbrush. And I also got, like, a fourth-use Wizomet blade in there. Now I'm just going to dunk my synthetic into the tap water. Not distilled water, we're going back to the tap. So, I'm gonna get this started. So, I have been watching a shit ton of content lately, as per usual. And, um, I just wanna, I guess, give some shout outs. I've been watching, um, the traveling shaver, Jeremy. I'm sure most of you know him, but if you don't, I will put it in the description, as I always do. All the people I mention, I usually put in the description. They're not links, but they're the titles to their channel, and you could type it into the damn search bar yourself. It's not that hard, guys. Tell you what, it takes a lot longer to link a bunch of channels and maybe product links takes so much fucking time i'm just not that into it you know what i mean i'd rather just write it out and then you can copy and paste in the search bar sorry fellas sorry <clears throat> gotta meet me halfway like i've said before so i've been watching the traveling shaver jeremy really good stuff i always like his um takes on things he uses the whole gambit of razors, really. And I've been watching John Shaves, somewhat new channel. Um, and I've been really enjoying John Shaves content. And then, of course, always watch and support my boys. Jack at the Virtual Groom Room. Ken at Shave326. Marion the Barbarian. Carlitos Shaves. Always been liking Carlitos. Um, Carlitos put me on to Surge Shaves, or uh, Shaving with Surge. Really been uh, very new to his channel, but the couple videos I've watched I liked. Um, Stanley Tam at the Student Shaver. I also did um, a duel live with him. And the only reason I didn't upload that duel live was because... Um, it wouldn't let me save it 
for whatever reason. I don't know if it was a memory issue. I don't know what the deal was. But I would basically have to screen record to upload it. I would have to screen record it on my phone. You know, just kind of like set my phone off to the side for a half hour or so. Let it screen record. Then after that was done, upload the screen recorded version. So it would have been kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, I've done it before on shorter videos. And I definitely could do it. But it is what it is. Some of them fall through the cracks. Nothing against Stanley. We had a fun time. Get some water on the face. So, and there's probably more that just aren't fresh in my mind right now. I always watch my Canadian brothers. From um, Lyle, the Sask Shaver. I always watch Justin, the Red Island Shaver. Um, JB, the Distorted Edge. Haven't seen a video from him in a little while. Um, and also, Ken, um, can't remember his last name, another Ken. <clears throat> but, um, and his channel is escaping me too. Look at that. Nice little tight curl. Very juicy looking leather there. I think it's cow shaves. That's what it is, not Ken cow shaves but um yeah just been absorbing a ton of content I always watch CDB always watch the stallion uh, I watched Wesley Allen today he uploaded a review of the omni shaver head shaver type deal Gotta support the Bearded Brothers. So, just ton of, ton of support going outward, and that's awesome. I saw on Instagram that the DC Shaves and the Shaving Chick were calling it quits on YouTube because as things get closer to being back to normal for them, they're finding they don't have as much time to produce YouTube content. So they just plan on, you know, doing the whole Instagram shave of the day stuff and mail calls and whatnot on Instagram. And just dialing it back on YouTube, which is fair enough. You know what I mean? We all have busy lives. But I definitely liked and appreciated David's content. And um, he's always seemed like a good guy. And same with the shaving chick. Real humble and seemed like she was enjoying um, the hobby. So definitely shout out to those two. So here we go. Um, I remember Marion was saying that I think the traveling shaver is close to a milestone. So definitely check out Jeremy, Traveling Shaver. I think it would be awesome if we could get him over whatever milestone he's at. I don't really watch people sub, so I don't know exactly where he's at, but if he's close, I think it would be cool if we helped him get over that milestone. That uh, Wolf Whiskers is just no scritch whatsoever. It's like pure plush. That's all you feel. Pure plush. And it's really nice. A little luxurious. That Black Wolf Knot. But, uh, 
I still, I think it's more plush than the Sinbad, but I don't like it as much as the Sinbad. I feel like the Sinbad has a little bit, a um, little bit more backbone. And the combination of that backbone and like super soft tips creates a kind of medium space in the synthetic offerings that I kind of like. Not that the Wolf Whiskers doesn't have backbone, but it's definitely a lot less than the Sinbad. And I set the Sinbad myself and I put a washer to bring it up so it would splay a little bit more. So I'm not a hundred percent sure if it's actually like <clears throat> if I would have left it where it was at, I think it would have had a lot of um a lot of backbone. You know what I mean? Because I brought it up a little bit so that it splayed a little bit easier. But I think it all kind of depends on the handle makers, you know, depth that they drill to, to begin with. Some maybe drill a little bit lower than others, I don't know. Might need a washer with some, might not need a washer with others. Kind of depends. I haven't set a ton of knots, but I've set a few. And, um, it's fairly easy. I think it's a little bit nerve-wracking <laughs> if you're using, like, you know, quick-drying epoxy and you can feel it start tightening up and you're trying to, uh, get the knot into position and you're hoping that you didn't put too much product, but hoping that you have enough, to, you know, to create a, a nice hold. So, it's kind of nerve-wracking until you get a couple couple lathers in with it and then you realize you know whether or not you did a good job or not <clears throat> I've been watching uh, watching everybody's fern boy week stuff yep. haven't seen a ton of overlap yet which is pretty cool, but I think as the week goes on, we start, we will. There's a lot of good offerings out there, but I think everybody's going to bring out the same heavy hitters sooner or later. I was hoping my Purely Skinful would come in today, because that's what it was, like, expected, but... But it didn't. I guess that's alright. <clears throat> the, uh, Viking Soaps is doing a fine job. has kind of a low structure, um, kind of yogurt type consistency on the face. That's totally fine with me. I think that's a, that's a good feel in my opinion. I think we busted out a fairly quick Always smooth with that uh, Rex Envoy. Always smooth. I think it's, um, you know, it's kind of sneakily efficient. Because <clears throat> it doesn't have that, it doesn't have like wild, um, crazy blade feel. It's just kind of like over the hump of medium blade feel. Or... I shouldn't say over the hump of medium. 
I should say over the hump of, you know, beginning to have blade feel. And, but it carries a good efficiency with it because I always, I always get BBS with the Envoy. <clears throat> and I think, kind of like uh, Ken said recently, at least I think it was Ken, you kind of have the ability to overshave because it's so comfortable. You know, you might not think you're doing as much work as you actually are. Let me go ahead and grab my... Ooh. Don't like doing that. I don't like touching things. My strop. Or really the uh, little pins without dry hands. I don't know why, but I don't. I just don't feel like those products need to be wet. So, Viking soaps, good shit, good modern vegan soap. Um, I think he has some original scents and some dupes in his line. I'm not super familiar with his lineup. This is the only soap I have from Viking Soaps, but I do enjoy it. Get a lot of enjoyment out of the Grey Vetiver scent. It's a classic green, clean scent. It's a, uh, you know, inexpensive, I should say. Um, artisan soap. Inexpensive but high quality. And if you guys don't know about the Viking soap brush handles, you need to get your head out of your ass. Because <laughs> it makes some nice handles that are affordable. Alright, Viking Long Ship Aftershave. This one has menthol, but it's not, like, going to kick your ass. This is entry-level menthol. So, just kind of a daily driver menthol. Light and um, soothing, I would say, rather than, like, scary cold. I would say soothing. It is an alcohol splash, um, just in case you're one of those pussies that can't... Uh, Take a little sting. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and get a little <clears throat> on the forearms because I like gray better. I know it's close to bedtime, but fuck it. All right. Go ahead and close that up and uh, recap. Viking Soaps Long Ship. Good stuff, good stuff. I like the soap base. I like the price. I like the performance. Nothing bad to say about Viking Soaps, honestly. <clears throat> I use the Rex right in there. Rex Envoy. Fantastic razor. Um, I fell in love with this very quickly. I think it really fits my personal um, shave style, um, my preferences. Nice, you know, bit of blade feel. Um, beginner's blade feel, I would say. I don't know how you want to call it. Just barely some blade feel. And then it's nice and efficient, above medium efficiency, and just smooth. You know, it, it's worked with multiple blades. Can't really say much wrong about the Rex Envoy either, but I can talk shit about the packaging. I'll bring it up multiple times. The packaging has got to improve. Some cardboard frills in a cardboard box. The cardboard box isn't the problem, but the cardboard like confetti, letting the razor shift and move and be bounced around in the box, unacceptable. This, uh, 
it might not be your premium razor in your line, but it's a premium razor in its own right. You know what I mean? And it comes with a premium price, really. So you got, I mean, you got to use that that foam insert that's cut specifically to your razor's dimensions. You got to do it. That's the industry standard. All right. Lancaster bowl, a staple of every shave. Lancaster towel, staple of every shave. And then my first Wolf of Whiskers Customs. Just absolutely beautiful little synthetic brush. So that was that. <clears throat> I think I got it all. We'll finish where we started with the Untitled Art Coffee Stout. Cheers, guys. Catch you on the next one. Thanks, as always, for all the support. And uh, hashtag Burn Boy Squad.